Hello, it's Dan here today. I hope you're good today. And today I just want to say a few words about anxious worst case scenarios. Uh, it's something I, I help people with a lot. It's, it's obviously fairly common with anxious stuff to feel anxious and to start kind of imagining things going badly, going wrong. Um, and, and what tends to happen when you do worst case scenarios is you get really engaged in the kind of content of them. So you, let's say you imagine something going wrong at work. That thing's going to go wrong at work and that means, um, you know, my colleagues, my manager's going to think I'm rubbish at my job that means I'll probably lose my job and if I lose my job I want to pay the bills if I can't pay the bills then I'll lose my house I'll end up homeless and we tend to go down that kind of negative spiral that comes from accepting that kind of original idea that original worst case as a thing so you know if you, if you treat it as a thing if you treat it as fact um, that you know it's 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 definitely going to happen you know it's the only thing that could happen then, then you find yourself going down that kind of spiral of negative consequences you know which just inflames your anxiety makes you feel even worse about the thing more anxious about you know that forthcoming thing uh, and it's true whether it's a work thing a social thing or some other aspect of life um coming up with the worst case scenario generally leads to feeling bad and leads to thinking about it more and the two things getting linked together in that the more you think about that forthcoming thing the more anxious you feel the more anxious you feel the more you think about it uh, and and the more you go down that path of negative consequences. So we want to be able to have ways to, to deal with those things. Because as, as I've mentioned, we want to keep in mind that just because you think something, that doesn't make it real, doesn't make it a fact, doesn't mean it's probable, doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen. However real it feels in your mind, however belief um, and energy and focus is there, however anxious you feel around it, doesn't mean that you know, it's, it's necessarily going to happen in that way. Uh, and you only have to think back on, on, on your previous times when you may have had worst case scenarios to, to recognize this, because many times, you know, what, what you thought was going to happen just doesn't happen. Um, many times you might come out of the situation and go, well, you know, well, that, that wasn't as bad as I was thinking. Um, and, you know, we spend a lot of time worrying and coming up with these worst case scenarios that are often, you know, like I say, they just don't happen. Things don't fall, you know, unfold that way. Um, often things are, you know, okay, you know, the bad stuff doesn't happen. Th things can be even good. Uh, you can enjoy things that you thought were going to be, you know, uncomfortable or, or you were dreading in some way. So, you know, we want to keep that in mind that just because you think it doesn't make it a fact. But there, you know, because it's in your head, because it's a future, because it hasn't happened, there, there are, you know, several things you can do to, to start reining those things in and to start interrupting them. I mean, the first is just to remind yourself, you know, that just because you think it, just because you imagine it, just because it's vivid in your mind, doesn't mean that it's definitely going to happen. And to start to challenge it in that way, that, you know, it's, it might be possible, but it's not necessarily probable. Um, linked to that, what you can do in your mind is, is to start to kind of dilute it. So rather than what people tend to do, you feel anxious, think of a worst case scenario, and essentially you say to your brain, you know, here's an option of one thing that's likely to happen, um, and you just think about that. But of course, because it's the future, because we know sometimes things go better, sometimes they don't, sometimes things are just kind of okay, then you can start to dilute it by deliberately coming up with more possible things that could happen. So if you've got the worst case, that thing that's causing anxiety on one hand, rather than going down that kind of rabbit hole and those consequences, is to deliberately go, well, you know, what, what would be the best case? What's the best thing that could happen here? Things go well. Um, you know, I'm pleased in some way. I'm happy about how stuff goes. People say it's good, well, depending on what the thing is. Uh, and, and between those two ends of the spectrum, there'll, there'll be dozens of, of possibles. I think things go, you know, not great, but, you know, you can cope with it. Um, th things are absolutely just plain ordinary and, you know, not too much happens. There might be a more most realistic option. There might be you know, grades of good, um, but the more options you come up with, the less your mind can fixate on one and treat that as a kind of thing simply because it's the only option that you've come up with around the future. And, and of course, you know, what, what people tend to do as well, and it's quite common, I've just been working with someone who, who does this, um, you predict the future, it's an anx anxious thing, and you tend to go to the point of, you know, most an anxiety sort of the most anxious provoking point. So you think of, you know, when things are at their worst, when things are going really badly, when, when people are, you know, judging you in some way, when, when you're perceiving you're failing in some way, uh, and, you know, the images in your head t tend to fix on that point of maximum anxiety, um, you know, which obviously makes you feel anxious, makes you feel bad, and, you know, leads to feeling dread. But of course, you know, t time's not going to stop at that point. So you can start to go, well, what happens next? You know, what happens next? You cope with it somehow. You get through it somehow. You, you deal with it like you do with other challenges. You get to a point where, you know, it's over. You get to a point, you know, two weeks from, from then where, you know, no one even remembers it. Where it was, you know, it's not even a thing anymore. Even, you know, you're not even thinking about it. You know, it could be two weeks, a month. Go, go six, six weeks. Go, go beyond that in your mind when, when it's become insignificant in the same way that other stuff that you might have dreaded, you know, 
it is way back in the past in your mind and you know you may not spend any time thinking about it and no one else is thinking about it it's just it's it's almost irrelevant it's just you know a thing that happened um so you can fast forward go beyond it you cope with it you get through it somehow um you, you find a way you have the resilience you you, you reach a point where it's, it's no longer a thing or, or focus on you know being able to cope with whatever happens you deal with it you have the strength the resilience believe in yourself trust in yourself you get through it and you can fast forward beyond that sit to a point where the anxious stuff has, has kind of dropped um because you've reached a point where where you're kind of more okay um, and, and you've dealt with it and it's now in the past um in contrast to that, you know, rewind it, bring it back to now. Go, you know, all right, that's the stuff that's in the future, but right now you're doing whatever you're doing. You're sitting where you are, watching watching this video, um, thinking about these particular things. So right in this moment, the future hasn't happened. There are many possible things that could happen in the future, but bring it right back to now where, you know, that stuff hasn't happened. In the now, you know, it doesn't even exist. So right now I am doing this. If your thoughts go to it, bring it back. And right now I am here doing this thinking about this, going to do this, moving in this way, thinking in this way, looking at these things. I am present here in this moment where that stuff doesn't exist. And of course, you know, there are many other ways and, and variables along those techniques. But like I say, you, you can first of all remind yourself that it's not necessarily a fact. It's just a perception of what's going to happen. It's not fact. It's not written in stone. There's not necessarily evidence to support it. It's just a perception. Undermine it in that way. Start to take away some of that kind of belief that you were inadvertently given to it. You know, it's stuff you're making up in your mind. So you can do all sorts with it. You can just make it black and white in your mind. You can move beyond it to where it's not a thing and you've coped with it. You've dealt with it. You can change the content. You can change the content of it. You can rewind it back to now. You can challenge it. You can do, you know, so many wonderful things that start to break that cycle of, I think, that this, I invest in it, I, I give it belief, I give it focus, and I feel anxious. So really do practice some of those things, keep them in mind, but always remember that just because it's a thought doesn't make it fact. You know, it's just a perception based on how you've been thinking about stuff, based on feeling anxious. Um, so you can do a whole range of stuff with that that's going to help you feel a lot better, a lot calmer, a lot more able to deal with it, to cope with stuff. But you know, remember, you know, most of it doesn't even happen. You know, keep that perspective in mind, challenge the stuff in your head, get, learn to, to do those things consistently, repeatedly, until you recognize that you, know, you can start to manipulate, you can start to control and direct the things in your mind in a way that means you feel less anxious and that you feel better. Um, it's certainly something I work on a lot with anxious people that I work with, it works wonderfully with repetition, with practice, with commitment, um, and you find yourself just, just feeling better quicker and, and you know, feeling okay about stuff that might happen more often. Um, so do practice those things, take back control, rein in the anxious stuff, um, and I think you'll find that, uh, that you enjoy the, the positive ramifications for it from doing that. So I'll leave you with that, um, some thoughts there about worst case scenarios and things you can do. I hope you find them useful and I will speak to you very soon. You take care now.